Hi there. I'm Jason Ayers, founder and president of Optionsource.net, and thank you for joining us to learn how to hedge cash flow using currency options. Many Canadian companies assume a currency risk by buying or selling goods and services in U.S. dollars. For example, a Canadian exporter may be receiving payments in U.S. dollars and is at risk of losing money in Canadian dollars if the U.S. dollar Canadian dollar exchange rate decreases by the payment date. On the other hand, a Canadian importer may be required to make payments in U.S. dollars and is at risk of having to pay more in Canadian dollars if the U.S. dollar Canadian dollar exchange rate increases by the payment date. In order to hedge their currency risk, the companies may choose to use USX options. Let's assume that a Canadian exporter is selling goods to a U.S. distributor. The U.S. distributor will be allocated a certain period to make the payment to the exporter. During that time, the exporter may believe that the U.S. dollar will decline, which would ultimately cause the payment to be received to represent a smaller amount when converted to Canadian dollars. Let's look at how the exporter can reduce or completely eliminate that risk. Let's assume that the U.S. dollar is trading at 1.0650 Canadian. Because the USX strike prices are reflected in cents, a value of 106.50 will be used. The Canadian exporter expects to receive 1 million U.S. dollars in three months' time. Once converted, the payment would represent 1,065,000 Canadian dollars using the current exchange rate. To determine the number of put contracts to purchase, the amount to be hedged is divided by the USX option contract size. If we take the future payment amount of a million dollars divided by the USX contract size of $10,000, we establish that the exporter would have to buy 100 contracts. In order to hedge the future cash flow, the exporter would purchase put options, since put options should increase in value as the exchange rate decreases. The exporter would buy 100 three-month 106.50 strike put option contracts. The put contract selected is currently trading at 3.10 per contract. The cost of one contract would be equal to $310. However, since the exporter is purchasing 100 contracts, the cost of the hedge would be $31,000. As previously mentioned, if the exchange rate remains unchanged, the investor would receive $1,065,000 Canadian dollars. However, if the exchange rate drops to 1.01 .01 by the payment date, the exporter would still receive $1,000,000 US, but it would now convert to $1,010,000 Canadian dollars. The exchange rate decline would cause the exporter to receive $55,000 Canadian dollars less than if the transaction took place three months earlier. Let's now consider the impact of the hedge using the USX options. In order to determine the settlement value of the put options on expiration, the index settlement value is subtracted from the strike price, multiplied by the contract value, and divided by one US dollar. The result is then multiplied by one Canadian dollar and divided by 100 Canadian cents. The formula can be simplified by subtracting the Bank of Canada noon rate from the strike price and multiplying the result by 100. In this example, the 101 settlement value is subtracted from the 106.5 strike price and multiplied by 100. The result is $550 per contract, which is then multiplied by the 100 contracts to come up with a total position value of 55,000 Canadian dollars. Once we subtract the initial cost of the hedge, meaning the premium paid by the exporter to acquire the put options, the exporter made a profit of $24,000. Remember that USX options are cash settled in Canadian dollars. Let's now look at the overall result. Initially, the exporter was expecting to receive $1,065,000 Canadian dollars. Following the drop in the exchange rate to 1.01, .01, the company is now receiving $1,010,000 Canadian, which is $55,000 less than it would have been three months earlier if the payment would have been converted at the 1.065 exchange rate. However, the exporter made a profit of $24,000 on the option position. The net amount received would therefore equal $1,034,000 Canadian dollars. With the hedge in place, the exporter has been able to partially offset the loss in the payment amount. 
let's now consider an increase in the US dollar. If the conversion was to take place at the current rate, the exporter would receive $1,065,000 Canadian. However, if the exchange rate increases to 1.12 during the three month period, the exporter would convert 1 million US dollars and receive 1,120,000 Canadian dollars. The exchange rate increase would cause the exporter to receive 55,000 Canadian dollars more than would have been received three months earlier. Following the increase in the exchange rate, the exporter receives a payment of $1,120,000, which is $55,000 more than the amount that would have been received by converting the payment at the 1.065 exchange rate. However, the put options would expire worthless and the exporter would lose the entire premium that was initially paid for the 100 put option contracts, which corresponds to $31,000. Once both positions are accounted for, the net payment received is $1,089,000 Canadian. The exporter was able to benefit from the increasing exchange rate and still receive a larger payment than anticipated three months earlier. Let's assume that a Canadian importer is buying goods from a U.S. distributor. The importer is given a certain period of time to make the payment to the U.S. distributor. During that time, the importer may believe that the U.S. dollar will rise, causing the required payment to represent a larger amount when converted to Canadian dollars. Let's look at how the importer can reduce or completely eliminate that risk. Once again, let's assume that the U.S. dollar is trading at 1.0650 Canadian. In this case, the USX would reflect a value of 106.50. The Canadian importer is expected to pay one million U.S. dollars in three months' time, which corresponds to one million and sixty-five thousand Canadian dollars using the current exchange rate. In order to hedge the future cash flow, the importer would purchase call options, since call options should increase in value as the exchange rate increases. The number of call option contracts to be purchased is determined in the same manner as for the put options. The amount to be hedged is divided by the USX option contract size. Since this example is dealing with a payment of $1 million, the importer would have to buy 100 contracts. The importer would now purchase 100 three-month 106.5 strike USX call option contracts. In this example, the call option is trading at 3.40. The premium is then multiplied by 100 to obtain the total cost of one contract. Since the importer is purchasing 100 contracts, the cost of the entire hedge would be $34,000. Let's now consider the effect of an increase in the US dollar on the payment value. At the current exchange rate of 1.065, the importer would be required to pay an amount of $1,065,000 Canadian dollars. However, if the exchange rate increases to 1.12 by the payment date, the importer would be paying $1,120,000 Canadian dollars. The conversion would cost 55,000 Canadian dollars more than was anticipated three months earlier. In order to determine the settlement value of the call options on expiration, the strike price is subtracted from the Bank of Canada noon rate, multiplied by the contract value, and divided by one U.S. dollar. The result is then multiplied by one Canadian dollar divided by 100 Canadian cents. Again, the formula can be simplified so that the strike price is subtracted from the settlement value. The result would then be multiplied by 100. In this example, the 106.5 strike price is subtracted from the Bank of Canada noon rate of 1.12 and multiplied by 100. The result is $550 per contract which is then multiplied by the 100 contracts. The total call option position value is 55,000 Canadian dollars. Once the initial cost of the hedge is considered, the hedger has profited $21,000. Remember that USX options are cash settled in Canadian dollars. Let's now look at the overall result. Following the increase in the exchange rate to 1.12, the importer now has to make a payment of $1,120,000 Canadian, 
which is $55,000 more than it would have been three months earlier if the payment would have been converted at the 1.065 exchange rate. However, the importer made a profit of $21,000 on the option position. The net amount paid would therefore equal $1,099,000 Canadian. With the hedge in place, the importer has been able to partially offset the loss incurred on the payment amount. Let's now consider a drop in the U.S. dollar. If the conversion was to take place at the current rate, the importer would have to make a payment equivalent to $1,065,000 Canadian. However, if the exchange rate decreases to 1.01 during the three-month period, the importer would only need to convert $1,010,000 Canadian dollars to make the $1 million U.S. dollar payment. At the new exchange rate, the importer only has to convert $1,010,000 Canadian dollars to make the $1 million U.S. dollar payment, which is $55,000 less than the payment amount that would have been needed to be made three months earlier at the 1.065 exchange rate. However, the call options that were originally purchased would expire worthless, and the importer would lose the entire premium that was initially paid for the 100 call contracts, which corresponds to $34,000. Once both positions are accounted for, the importer still benefits from the decrease in the exchange rate. It is important to recognize that the exporter and importer have only hedged a portion of the currency risk with the 100 contracts. To create a more accurate hedge, the companies could calculate the number of option contracts required by using the options delta. The number of contracts that was originally obtained by dividing the U.S. amount to be hedged by the USX contract size would then be divided by the delta of the USX option contract. It should be noted that this will require the purchase of additional option contracts, thereby increasing the cost of the hedge. To offset the cost of the hedge, the exporter and importer may use a caller strategy, also known as a hedge wrap. For example, the exporter could sell call options and use the credit received to pay for a portion of the put option premium. Conversely, the importer could sell put options and use the credit received to pay for a portion of the call option premium. Information on the implementation of a caller strategy will be covered in another video.